Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Priyanta from Informatica GCS. Today in this part of CDI PC playlist, we are going to see how deregistration works in a cloud data integration for power center domain that is nothing but a CDI PC domain. Today's agenda are how to deregister a CDI PC domain followed by a demo session. To start with, if you would like to deregister a domain, first you have to log in to the IDMC console using the username and password. Once you log in to the IDMC console, you can see multiple chiclets. Here we have to select cloud data integration for power center. Once you click on cloud data integration for power center, you will be landing on this particular page where you can see multiple options like download installer, register a domain, manage your domains, etc. To deregister a domain, we have to click on manage your domains. Once you click on manage your domains, you will be landing on this particular page where all the registered domain details will be listed. Please note, once you register all the domain within one org and once you log in to that particular org, all the domain which you have already registered can be visible from here. To deregister a particular domain, you can click on that particular domain and proceed. Once you click on that particular domain which you want to deregister, you will be landing on this particular page where you can see all the domain details like domain name, gateway, host, port number, when it has been created, everything. To deregister the same domain, from top right hand side, you can click on deregister option. Once you click on deregister option, you have to provide the CDIPC domain user details like administrator and the native user. And once you click on continue, the domain will be successfully deregistered. Once the domain will be successfully deregistered, it will be shown in this particular page where you can see that status as deregistered. If you would like to delete this particular entry, you can click on this below button and you will get this delete option. You can click on delete and you can proceed with the deletion of this particular domain entry which you have deregistered. Now we will see the demo. In this demo session, we are going to cover how to deregister a CDI PC domain. To do the same, we have to first log in to the IDMC console using the username and password. Once we log in to the IDMC console, then we have to select cloud data integration for power center chiclet. Once we click on cloud data integration for power center chiclet, we will be landing this particular home page where we can see multiple options like download installer, register a domain and manage your domains. To deregister a domain, we have to select manage your domains. Once we click on manage your domains, we will be landing on this page where all the domains will be listed. To deregister a domain, we have to select that particular domain. Once we click on the domain, the left hand side, it will be listed all the domain details like domain name, gateway host, node port details. To deregister this particular domain, we have to go to top right hand side and click on deregister. Then again, we have to click on deregister. Here, we have to provide the domain user details. So in my case, my domain username is administrator and what is this domain? This is security domain is native and the domain password we have to provide and click on deregister. Once we click on deregister, it will validate the domain details and then domain de registration will be succeeded. Once the domain deregistration will be succeeded, that particular domain status will be changed as deregistered. If you would like to delete this particular entry from this home page, you can select this and click on delete. It will again ask you for the confirmation. You can proceed with delete. Once the delete is successful, the domain details will be deleted from this particular page and your domain is successfully deregistered and the entry is successfully deleted from this page. That's all for today's video. You can provide a feedback by visiting support videos at the rate informatica.com. You can also reach us on Twitter. Thank you.